Dear student, in this uh, module, we shall discuss membrane potential and membrane excitation. You know that all electrical phenomena in the cell depend on transmembrane potential. This transmembrane potential is known as the membrane potential and is represented as Vm. The potential difference is actually electrochemical in nature because it is established by charged ions. This membrane potential is the basis of production of all signals that are used in communication and muscle contraction. The membrane potential arises because of two features found in all eukaryotic cells. One is the unequal distribution and maintenance of different concentration of various ions inside and outside the membrane. And second is the presence of ion selective channels that are permeable to various ionic species. The potential difference is measured as an intracellular potential relative to the extracellular potential. It is expressed in millivolts. Its values vary with the type and physiological state of the cell. Overall, its values range between uh, minus 30 to 100 millivolt in non-excited cells. The potential difference or voltage that exists across the membrane is localized to the regions which are adjacent to the surface of the membrane on two sides. It is not present throughout the cell, but it remains confined to the regions which are close to or adjacent to the outer and in inner membrane surfaces. The potential difference acts as a source of potential energy with which the ions move across the membrane. This voltage gives rise to an electric field that is measured in terms of volt, volts and distance so that E is equal to V over D. We can see here that the electric field is inversely proportional to the distance. If we consider that distance is the uh, thickness of the membrane, then it is only 5 nanometers. As a result, we can see that this short looking electric field is actually very large. We can measure and detect the membrane potential directly by voltage clamp method. इस मेथड में दो इलेक्ट्रोड्स इस्तेमाल होते हैं एक इलेक्ट्रोड को साइटोसोल में रख दिया जाता है और दूसरे को एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर मीडियम में ये इलेक्ट्रोड्स वोल्टेज या पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस को डिटेक्ट करते हैं और मॉडर्न डिजिटल इक्विपमेंट्स में एक स्क्रीन के ऊपर मेम्ब्रेन पोटेंशियल की वैल्यू को शो कर देते हैं इससे पहले एक क्लासिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इस्तेमाल किया जाता था जिसे ऑसिलोस्कोप कहते थे now we shall uh, discuss the excitable membranes. Uh, dear students, you can understand that a voltage uh, uh, or uh, potential difference exists across the plasma membranes of all animal cells. But only the excitable membranes, that is the membranes of neurons, muscles and sensory cells, can respond to changes in potential difference by producing action potentials. How excitation occurs? When a stimulus is received on the surface membrane of an excitable cell, it decreases the potential difference across the membrane. This decrease in potential difference is known as depolarization. Depolarization के नतीजे में voltage gated sodium channels open हो जाते हैं और as a result sodium ions cell के अंदर influx कर जाते हैं. 
जब सोडियम आइन सेल के अंदर मूव करते हैं तो उसके नतीजे में एक्शन पोटेंशियल ट्रिगर हो जाता है स्टार्ट हो जाता है द ओपनिंग ऑफ वोल्टेज गेटेड चैनल्स इन रिस्पॉन्स टू स्टिमुलस जनरेटेड डीपोलराइजेशन एंड द रिजल्टिंग इन फ्लो ऑफ सोडियम आइन इन टू दल इज नोन एज मेम्रेन एक्साइटेशन 